figure the best way to sort of divvy this whole thing up is, you know, fill out all the hope fragments in a character, then spend a couple dates with Akane, and then bounce between the two until, you know, we're all well and truly good and everything. So, now that I've luckily got Nagito well and truly out of the way, nobody that's left is exactly a terrible idea to hang out with. I imagine time with Taro Taro would be kind of weird. It's probably going to get kind of gross. So, how about I save him for after another character that I actually like? Yeah, I feel like, see, out of the characters that are left, I really, really want to hang out with Sonya, Mahiru, Ibuki. Yeah, basically those three are the ones I really want to hang with. The middle tier would be Soda, Nekumaru, and uh, Hiyoko. And I suppose the ones I want to spend the time... Oh, wait, I completely forgot about Fat Byakuya. Yeah, actually, I want to I want to see his deal. I want to see if hanging out with him... I want to see if hanging out with him will actually uh, have him tell me. Because he dies so early. So let's let, let's find out where this... Let's see where this one goes. I'm curious. What I'd like to do? Apparently spend time with him, I suppose. Will he, will, will he eventually talk in that weird voice? Very strange. Who in the world organized this farce? Even if I wanted to think about it, there aren't enough clues. Man, though, talking to him knowing that he's not Byakuya, but the, just a guy who's really good at impersonating him, is really kind of weird. At the same time, though, it's not a perfect imitation. I personally find that the ultimate imposter, hilariously enough, is more loyal and noble than the original Byakuya. Uh, even with character developments, I mean... I don't know if Byakuya would have ever died for someone else. Maybe he'd reach that point, but I don't know if he is currently. Even if I wanted to think about it, there aren't enough clues. All this thinking is making me hungry. Let's have a, let's have a small meal. Come. And then he describes a very large meal. I spent time with Byakuya today watching him eat an obscene amount of food. So I guess the imposter is the guy that likes the food. So anybody he impersonates is a f almost purely flawless copy, except fat. Interesting. Looks like Byakuya let me get a little closer to him. I guess I would. All right. So am I to take it that you probably are a big fan of food items? Like if I gave you this chocolate chip jerky, that sounds like something that's right up your alley. What did you say? Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and say that was the right call. <laughs> Where did you obtain this? This masterpiece couldn't even be found by the collective effort of my Togami Corporation. I'll be keeping this. Hey, Hajime, let me ask you one thing. Huh? Me? I don't really mind, but... There's something I've been wondering for a while, and I'd like to purge that question from my mind. Listen. So let me ask you, what is your body fat percentage? I do not know that off the top of my head. I am surprisingly doughy. <laughs> I wear baggy clothes, so it's harder to tell, but I am not svelte. Huh? Eh? Well, I don't really know the exact number. I've never had it checked before. What? Never had it checked before? This can't be. Are you saying you have no intention of understanding the ratio of fat stored within you? Uh, not especially, no. I swear, this is why I dislike commoners. I should probably be talking with a fancier voice. For some reason, Byakuya's mood seems abnormal. I'm starting to think I've actually done something wrong. I see. However, just by looking at you, I'd say that you're a nine. No, maybe an eight. Regardless, it's probably around one digit. Be grateful this is a tropical island. If you were somewhere less hospitable, you'd freeze to death. I see. I mean, I'm not saying there isn't some tactical benefits to having some pudge. But, it, you know, eventually you go too far and it becomes, you know, problematic and you could risk diabetes and heart disease. You gotta find that balance, man. Anyway, you still can't remember what your talent is? Y yeah, not yet. Don't worry. I see. However, there's no need for you to be depressed about it. Eh? What's with that face? Nothing, I just thought I was going to get yelled at again. <laughs> How foolish. Do you really think I'd get mad about something like that? I feel like the original Byakuya would have. A person like me has a responsibility to watch over you weaklings. That's not the mindset he had! <laughs> Besides, as long as I'm here, it doesn't matter what your talent is. In the name of my family. As long as Byakuya Toagami is in charge, you will all know peace. I see. His personality is so overwhelming. The Togami Corporation is famous worldwide, but it will grow even more rapidly under my command. You should feel lucky that someone as talented as me is here. Listen. Just believe in me. If you do, everything will turn out fine. It's weird. There's still definitely that selfish condescension. He's got that one down. But it, I don't know. He just... He's too selfless. 
I don't really understand, but he's extremely confident. So this is Byakuya Togami, the ultimate affluent should progeny. Hmm. Just make sure you don't get in my way. The commoners should know their place and stay put. Goodbye. However, if there's anything troubling you, I don't mind if you rely on me. That's so weird to hear! <laughs> it all makes more sense now that I know that it's not him, but still. After saying that, Byakuya gallantly strolled away. He was pretty condescending, but he doesn't seem like a bad guy. I feel like I got to know him a little bit about him. Not bad. Alrighty, I decided to head to my room where I took many a nap. After the rabbit said to take a nap, I took a nap. Because that is how the world works. Uh, do you think we could survive one more day without cleaning at all? I wonder. I oh. this Apparently Gundam is feeling the fire. How foolish. You shall regret ever awakening me. Gundam seems to be feeling rather swell. Rather fine, rather dandy, and all such other things. Alright, well, let's see. Oh, yeah. Everybody is definitely feeling the desire to take a nap. I understand. I also definitely do not have the stuff required to get that giant hot pot. I didn't get any salt. I didn't even think about it. Um, well, a little bit of HP wouldn't be bad. So... That should... That should help wake up a few people at the very least. Also, I've, I do I do have two of these here Jabba Juices. All right, so who do I want to make super super great? Uh, let's go with Ibuki and Sonia, as they're feeling the most, as they have the best, you know, uh, exp, you know, mining stuff. They're good at collecting stuff. Otherwise, I guess I'll also give something here to you and you and you and you. And I'll also give you one, because I can, and sure why not, bada boom, there you go. I should actually make it clear, I don't have anything against Mikon, but I certainly hope that a few people would kind of understand why I feel the way I do after what we experienced with her. Then again, then again, I absolutely shouldn't actually hold that against her as much as I should. Because everybody was ultimate despair back then, so I imagine I'd probably feel that way with almost any of the characters if I saw the way that they were. Regardless, uh, oh right, would be in my personal effects. Godoy, vacuum robo. There we go. Save ourselves some time on that one. All right, so we still need all that stuff. So that much is true. Regardless, you and you definitely need to take some naps. That's okay. I suppose just keep on doing what you guys are doing. I, I, I reckon. Why not? I find it interesting how competent at cleaning Nekumaru is. Then again, team manager. That makes sense. You know what? I can, Just because I find it kind of hilarious to have him be really good at it. Let's roll with it. Just to stave it off a little bit. All right. Get to the digging. Dig for valuable resources inside that amusement park. Oh, man, Gundam is going ham. Look at him go. He don't give a damn. A Gundam. He's just rolling with it. And, uh, well, I certainly feel like we got a whole bunch of stuff. So that's pretty great. And more level ups. Fantastic. Everybody's getting better. Everybody be getting a whole lot better and better and better. A whole lot better and better and better. What would I like to do? Spend some time with him, apparently. I want to see where this... I want to see where the story goes. Color me intrigued. Very I want... I, I feel like if you get to, like, the end, he must mention the fact that he's the ultimate imposter. Because it's impossible to get it otherwise. Unless you're in this mode. Who in the world organized this? Oh, never mind. You're just saying the same thing. As I watched him eat so much food. It was like a basking shark. He just opened his mouth and walked towards it, and it all just landed in there. It was weird. Would I like to give him a gift? Yeah, I've got an obscene amount of chocolate chip jerky. Which, I... I don't, I've never eaten jerky at any point in my life. Am I correct in assuming that that's a really weird combination of chocolate and meat? Like, I assume that's meant to be outlandish, right? That's, or is that an actual brand you could, like, buy? I legitimately do not know. What did anyway, he's very, very happy about that. Oh, the chicken in my hands is far tastier than the beef inside the freezer. Huh? It's a German proverb. I don't know enough about German culture to dispute that, so I'll take your word. It means something inferior that's nearby is better than something good that's far away. Hmm. But why would chicken be inferior to beef? 
Ah, you're asking the wrong guy. Never had either. Aren't there times when you'd obviously want to eat fried chicken instead of steak? I mean, replace those with any other two foods in the world, and I could agree just as much. So I get the intent, that's true, but what are you even talking about? I mean, is this even a real German proverb? He's questioning it! What do you think? Furthermore, why is pork not even mentioned in this comparison? Is pig meat unattractive to Germans? Why? No, that's impossible. These are very interesting lines of thought you're going across. When you think of Germany, you think of sausage. And if you think of sausage, you're thinking of pig meat. That's what does this mean? What is this conspiracy? I'm going to be honest, I'm getting a lot of entertainment value out of hanging out with this guy. What in the world is he so worked up about? Hajime, do you know which meat is the most efficient source of energy? Listen. What meat contains the most vitamin B1 for converting glucose to energy? He's so serious, it's scary. I have no idea. How should I answer? Uh, chicken? Is it chicken meat? Oh, chicken, huh? It's a splendid, exceptional meat that's low in calories and lowers your cholesterol. He's really absorbed into talking about it now, but it looks like that was wrong. Uh, then is it pork? Yeah, okay, well he was going on about how great pork is, I guess. Is it pork? <laughs> Correct! The same amount of pork has ten times the energy efficiency of other meats. Do you understand? Ten times! <laughs> this man, he's serious about the meats. I, I get it already, what's your point? Such There's only one thing I want to say to you. Hajime, become my assistant. Huh? The situation surrounding us on this island is even more complicated than I had thought. Even if it's just a commoner's assistance, it's better than having nobody at all. But I don't even remember that much about myself. You don't even know if I have a talent that would be useful to you, you know? Memory. Who cares about that? Eh? So in even if we don't have your memories, you're still you, right? You're able to live your own life. That is already enough. All you have to do is be yourself. I'm left wondering... <laughs> are he, he does a very good job of looking and acting like Byakuya when it comes to his presence and attitude, but his core value system is so much higher. I think the ultimate imposter is just a genuinely nice guy. As you stand before me, I will believe in your potential. Byakuya. Also, what use is the past? I too was powerless in the past, but I'm different now. Throw away your past self. It's meaningless. Powerless? What's he talking about? Was Byakuya really powerless in the past? Hmm. Uh, from what I remember about the last stuff I learned about him, I don't think so necessarily. Anyway, think about my offer. More importantly, Hajime, Listen. do you like chicken or beef? For some reason, I still ended up discussing meat with Byakuya until I had heartburn. Memories of Chie past. Fascinating. Anyway, what happened to Byakuya in the past? I guess we'll probably do some digging. Makes the most sense to me, all that shy. I parted ways, went back to the cottage, and took another mighty nap at the behest of a magical rabbit. As is the way of such things. Alright, that takes care of that. Abuki is feeling the fire! She's feeling rather swell, which is all well and good. Oh, hum hum hum. Here, have a spirit bomb. Eh. Isn't that the thing that can bring people back from being knocked out? I don't know if I'm ever going to need that. Yeah, that's restores consciousness. I mean, I guess it's good to have in the, in the sense of having it. That being said, let's take a look here. I need AI chips. And I can make a good amount of those, but not a lot. Oh, hello. The zombie strap. It talks when you squeeze the tummy. I'm Usami, tee hee hee. And I need to make eight of these? My goodness, that is an absolutely absurd amount. All right, well, either way, I definitely need more of those. Uh, and I don't want to use my AI chips on broom robos. So, I suppose, I'll just make myself some Jabba salads. And then, I will give it to a few choice individuals. Hajime, Akane, I'll give you to, oh, that didn't work. Oh, okay. She just, she was running so low that she needed more than one. I get you. All right, well, fact is, a lot of people are going to need to sleep. And you know what? That's okay. That's their right. Everybody needs to t spend some time. Well, that's interesting. Oh, I gave one to Akane, but I didn't give enough. Oh, that's a shame. All right, well, that's okay. That's okay. As much as I'd like to keep her out there doing awesome stuff, 
All right, I guess we're gonna still need more white cotton and the like. My goodness. All right, you guys are gonna be absolutely, like, t absolutely in need of a nap at the end of all that, but all right. I suppose, all in all, that should be fine. Yeah, yeah. Oh wait, no, hang on, Terra Terra is good. He can, he can get back to work doing what he does. Whatever that ends up being, let's not think about it too hard personally. All right, make sure nobody is doing anything that isn't good. Ah, the Mekon, there you go. Put her over to Electric Avenue. That's exactly what I was talking about. All right, but most importantly, above all else, anybody who does need to rest is going to rest. Yes, okay. Accidentally letting someone rest too much isn't as bad as overworking somebody. All right, so there we go. All right. Got a whole bunch of cloth. My goodness. Not bad. And a bunch of white cotton, too. So, there we go. Should be dan fine and dandy. All right. Back to meeting with peoples. All right. Large Biakia. You're rather in charge. So, let's find out what makes you tick. Question is, I wonder... Were there maybe four free time events before the first trial ended up becoming a thing and you got locked out? Not sure. I don't quite remember. Well, despite that, got a little closer. Would I like to give him a gift? Obviously. I feel confident in the in, in my ability to to give him stuff. <laughs> like, I don't think I've ever be, uh, tried to hang out with somebody and had enough of the object that they like enough to be able to just give it to them exclusively. What did you say? He's very happy to have this joiky. Anyway, what what's next? Mean? And what did you want to talk to me about? Huh? I didn't say anything. I can tell just by looking at your face you need my power, right? As a member of the Togami family, I'm in a position to guide weaklings. No need to hold back. Come try me. Well, if you insist, well, hold it. There's no need to say it since I already know. I share your dissatisfaction. No, I wasn't really trying to talk about my dissatisfaction. I ain't got no dissatisfaction. If I lived like a beast, I would not be dissatisfied living on this island. However, I am a creature of intellect. I am a modern person who lives in a new era. There's something important missing from this island. You should also know what that is, right? Something important missing from the island. Why am I being quizzed all of a sudden? Of course, there are many things it could be, but I'm pretty sure Byaki is probably talking about... Well, we already have a convenience store. We don't have a family restaurant, but we have a restaurant. And I know we don't have fast food, so... Is it fast food? That's right! Don't you think it's strange, too? Despite all these facilities, why didn't they bother to build even one fast food location? <laughs> They've monopolized! Why aren't they here? That, that's true, but... I'm surprised. I never figured you were the type to eat junk food. Such <laughs> How foolish. Your shallow beliefs are typical of an ignorant commoner. Actually, I'm pretty sure ignorant commoners are the ones that understand the appeal of fast food among all others. <laughs> you don't have to go that far. Listen. Do you know how much the body fat percentage of the upper class increase every year due to fast food? I can't say that I do. Was I misinterpreted? From Hollywood celebrities to presidents of industry. <laughs> Even Bill Gates is fascinated by that clown with an afro. So you can casually say Bill Gates, but you can't say Ronald McDonald. I mean, I guess one of those is a trademark and the other isn't and is actually a person, but still, it's weird to think that Bill Gates is somebody who's bopping around in the Doggone Rod by universe. Also, it is common knowledge that many professional athletes eat an unbalanced diet. Damn, if only this island had some means of communication. I would have various fast food companies establish franchises here, including the Afro Clown, the Despectacled Kentucky Colonel, and the Redhead Girl with Pigtails. I understand why you can't say McDonald's, KFC, and Wendy's. I get it. But it's really weird that you're not saying it. <laughs> Justifiable reasons or not, it's funny that you have to, like, give these weird descriptions instead. I don't really understand, but he is really passionate about this. What's making him so driven? You'll probably never understand. Eh? You always find the same things waiting for you wherever you go. You'll never know what a relief that truly is. For someone like you who has lived a fortunate life, you'll never understand. Fortunate? That sounds like I'm better off compared to Byakia. <laughs> oh well, if there's anything worrying you, just let me know anytime. No need to hold back, especially if it concerns food, apparently. Goodbye. Good day. And with that, Byakia left. But he totally didn't listen to what I wanted to talk to him about. 
More importantly, what did he mean that I'm more fortunate than he is? Questions for another day! Literally the very next day, but still, another day all the same. I'm not wrong. And thus, once again, the magical rabbit says, take a damn nap. And so I did. Anybody feeling the fire? Gundam! Feeling that fire again! Hells yeah! Good, good on him. Alright then, let's take a quick look at the constructions. Can I make more of them AI chips? Uh, definitely. I can make exactly one. We should probably head a bunch of people over there to, uh... To, 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 to uh, get as much of the stuff needed for that as possible. Alright, well, let's just... How many of these do I need? Yeah, I definitely need eight. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Alright. So, yeah. Oh, man, we need a lot of this stuff. And only two days left. I'm not 100% sure if we're going to be able to make that work or not. Well, I guess we'll find out. Alright, anybody who desperately needs sleep, go get that sleep. Then, aside from that, everybody who doesn't need des desperately need that sleep. Actually, Gundam specifically, I want you over there. Because we need junk parts more than anything, I feel. Then everybody else just got to get that white cotton from Nizumi Castle. I guess. Go figure. All right, but still need all that stuff. We need so much stuff, you guys. My goodness. I'm doing the best I can. <laughs> but there's definitely an element of luck in all of this. Okay, that should be good. Quick gander on over, though. Uh, is there a way to... Okay, double water, mineral, nature, general. Lowers HP cost of actions? I just need five ropes. Okay, well, that's definitely something to take note of. Damn, I wish I knew that ahead of time. Should have read this stuff more. All right, so do you think it would be mineral? I'm not sure. How do you make a bag? What's required of bags? Damn, this is not exactly easy. All right, well, that all being said, let's just make what we can, I suppose. I don't see why not. Get myself some golden plates, some iron. Get some saws, some black flowers. Maybe I'm shooting myself in the foot by doing that. I don't know. I'm just going to do the best I can. The game already said that the likelihood of being able to do this perfectly on the first go is next to impossible. So I'll just do the best I can. Now get to digging! Also, why does Akane have that specifically as her animation where everybody else has a pickaxe? I mean, Nekomaru has a big old shovel, but Akane is a little one. Is it just to get her to bend over? Because that's doity. That's doity as hell, and I don't know why you gotta be all like that. And Mekon, level it up! Not bad, not bad, not bad at all. Gonna go hang out with the fat guy. Gonna go hang with the fat guy. Life in the fat lane. <laughs> I don't know why that made me laugh as much as it did, but it did. It tickled me, and so I shall share it. Alright, once again, everything is said as it is. Well, that didn't go as well. Nah, that was a little better. Either way, let's see. Do you think you would just like the straight up potato chip? I, I mean, I know it works. I best not mess with it. I just was trying to see if I could get some more, uh, you know, messages out of him. But, alright. Listen. Listen well. There are three types of affluent progenies in the world. Despite their intellect, there are useless progenies who only have their smarts. Despite their good looks, they are useless progenies who only have their looks. But the one who is superior in both aspects is the most powerful affluent progeny of all. Byakuya Togami. I see. And I thought he was making a grand introduction, but no, he was just boasting. <laughs> Hajime, I will tell you and only you the secret of how the Togami family has prospered. How they prospered? Hmm. It is based on a special hereditary system. The head of the Togami family doesn't have a wife. Yeah, I remember hearing about this. <laughs> Instead, he has countless children with excellent women throughout the world. The children are forced to compete gladiatorially with one another, and whoever remains standing as the winner will become the next head of the Tagami family. You mean the kids will have to fight each other? That's right. During my time, 108 of us boys and girls fought to become the next head of the Togami family. I don't remember or recall that being the case. I think there were less. I feel like it's not directly a Suikoden reference. But that's where the 108 come, uh, makes me remember of. But I'm pretty sure even Suikoden got that from some other Japanese uh, folklore or legend or something to that effect. 108 people? Were they all your siblings? Hmm. 
That's right. And we are ranked based on our strength. The most powerful affluent progeny is gold. The one below that is silver. I was ranked the weakest of all, bronze. Listen. But in the end, I defeated every last one of them. I even defeated the affluent progeny of darkness. Listen. And from there, I reached the top. <laughs> Interesting. It was the first time in the history of the Tagami family that a bronze won their way to the top. That's amazing. Well, it's not like I know if it's true. But if it really is true, I definitely would have run away at some point during the middle. Hmm. It's the history of a battle that will continue for many ages. Isn't it horrifying? And now Byakuya Togami is standing atop that history. How about it? Isn't it amazing? As expected of the Togami line, right? As expected of Byakuya Togami, you mean. <laughs> hmm. Compared to any other person, his was the most absolute existence I've ever seen. Oh, hello! Huh? There's something strange about what he just said now. Hajime, if... If by any chance... If you could become anyone other than yourself, who would you want to be? Anyone other than myself? Huh. I've never thought about it before, but... I'm, I'm definitely fine with who I am. <laughs> Knowing the extraordinary ex existential crises that he has later in the game, that's a interesting thing to hear him say. I'm more focused on what I'm supposed to do. I see. That's perfectly fine. Especially if that's the real you. Goodbye. <laughs> that was quite a nice way to kill some time. I'm noticing the cracks in the facade! After he said that, he turned and walked away. I was struck by how lonely he looked with his back to me. Hmm. What did he mean by what he just said in that just now? I feel like I'm starting to get to know Byakuya better. But I, I feel like something's missing. Even if it's impossible right now, there might be a day when Byakuya is able to tell me. That's not the end, is it? With his own words. No, I think there's at least one more. At least. Holding that belief, I decided to return to my room. Where the mighty god magic rabbit said take a nap. And so I did. Alright, well, I'm all out of robots to do the cleaning, so... I guess I'll probably have to do a bunch of that myself. Pekko is gonna give it her all today! I must take care of my basic mental fortitude. Pekko seems to be feeling pretty, pretty great. She's got that fire in her. <laughs> She gave me the broom robo! Hell yeah! That buys me another day of not having to care about cleaning! Thank you, Osami! Just barely, though. Mm, I feel like I should probably give at least a couple people into the cleaning category. Yeah, that's probably the best course. Alright. Actually, yep, you know, I'll give three. Give you three on that one! Although, very quickly, Mikan, I'm curious. Yep, she has gotten very good at scavenging. Good for her. Alright, so I've got more than enough of that stuff, and more than enough of that stuff. So, then, we can definitely focus on getting other stuff. Yes, I definitely like the idea of getting other stuff. So everybody, everywhere, do what you gotsta does. As long as I'm in the same place as Akane, I am content. There we go. And then everybody else, just do the best you can. Grab everything you can. Yeah. And with all that many people hanging out at the beach, we should probably make a pretty good headway, considering we can get, like, you know, d double the, all the stuff. Alright, anyway, so I should, conceivably, have everything I need. Uh, how many of these have I made? I made five. Okay, so I'm gonna need at least three more AI chips. One, two, three... I could actually make more than that, and I don't see why I shouldn't. There we go. Yeah, there we go, because now I can actually make more broom robos. So, six, seven, eight. There we go. That's all we got from that. Question. So, rope. Yeah. So we could get, like, a ni some knives and some tree vines and glue. That'd be great. I would absolutely love to be able to get more materials. Also, the safety charm, yeah, so yeah, the safety charm specifically, lower the HP so we can do more stuff more often. That would be swell. Need a lot of seashells and bags. Oh, oh, well, I guess... Oh, no, I already have that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I don't need another one of those. Unless getting multiple, like, makes me get even more of that stuff. Do you think it stacks? That's an interesting proposition. But black flowers, hang on. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. So, I don't even remember what the object that needed black flowers was. It was you. Okay, so I just need a bunch of beast bones. All right. Well, let's uh, see what we get. Everybody to work. Pecco. Ah, man. 
Her glasses are shining with, a, with an intense ferocity normally only seen by the most intense of anime characters. Anyway, that's a whole bunch of stuff we done just got ourselves. A whole bunch of cabbages, a lot of sand. A uh, big pile of seashells too. Got some milk and eggs and some beast meats and skins and all that other stuff. But, uh, did we get any knives? No, we didn't. Well, that's unfortunate. I would have very much prefer to get some of those. I was I mistaken in thinking that I could get them from the uh, from the the market? Maybe that's only available in the uh, military base. Maybe I should have actually looked before I decided to do what I did. Wouldn't that have been a novel strategy? Actually planning this stuff out ahead of time. Wouldn't that be crazy? <laughs> anyway, don't worry. I've got myself another bag of the chocolate the chip of the jerky. The herky jerky full of the chocolate chips. Yeah, that sounds like something the Swedish chef would probably make, let's be real. Anyway, here you go. <laughs> he keeps saying, like, ah, this is impossible to get. And I've given him, like, five. Hey, Biaki, I've been wondering about this for a while now. What you said earlier, what did that mean? That whole bit about the real you. Hajime, what do you think of me? Well... I think you're far too nice of a person to be Biakia. Let's say that. Huh? So in other Do you words, like me? Ah, uh, whoa, hey, oh, what are you talking about? What? I'm just asking if you like me or hate me. It's a simple yes or no question. But that I don't know how to answer that when you spring it on me so suddenly. Biakia looks seriously. It's as if he's backed me into a corner. It almost feels like he won't forgive me unless I say something. But that doesn't mean I should just tell him the truth. Why wouldn't you? What I... What do I need to say to make Biaki understand? I can't say because I don't know you. Damn, I thought that was clever. It's not like I can answer that so suddenly. Come on. It's a simple question. All right, then fine. Yeah, sure. If I have to choose between liking... I mean, yeah, I don't hate you by any stretch. Jesus. Well, if I have to choose between liking you and hating you, then, well, I don't hate you. I definitely consider you a friend, and there's no way I could ever imitate your, uh, yeah, imitate your leadership. The truth is, I think you're amazing. <laughs> I see. Byakuya seems a little relieved. But what's with him? I feel like he's not his usual self. Such a hesitant, no, kind answer. As expected of you. <laughs> but that's how you feel about Byakuya Togami, right? Ah! What if I wasn't a Togami? What if I never had my birthright, my name, or my ability? What if I were more handsome and more disagreeable? Hmm. Would you still feel the same way that you do right now? That's an interesting question. You're basically saying, if I was a completely different person, would you still like me? Hmm. Oh, I don't know about that, but... I feel like Byakuya is speaking differently than usual. What does this mean? In other words. The exterior is very important. From a person's name and appearance, an impression is already being formed. Let me tell you an interesting story about a certain man. Listen. This man was born with nothing. No name, no birth certificate, no family. He had nothing. He was nothing. Okay. Hmm. Absolutely nothing at all, do you understand? His existence was completely invisible. He was a person whose life had no meaning whatsoever. The only thing he had was a desire to live a normal life. So what did he do to have to do in order to live? What did he have to do to have his existence acknowledged, to receive that affirmation? Hmm. There was only one way. His only option was to become someone else. He had to lie to everyone. He had to lie to the entire world. Is he talking about himself? I mean, if he is, then the person in front of me isn't the real Byakuya Toagami? No, even if he's telling the truth, it's not like I know the real Byakuya Toagami. All I know is... Byakuya, I don't know how you're going to take this, but... The only Byakuya Toagami I know is the person standing right in front of me. You Hajime, say? you. Thank you. I've always, I've always wanted someone to say that to me. <laughs> I see. So I'm really here. I'm really here. Listen. If, if by chance everything that happened, that's happening here, is resolved safely, there's something I would like to tell you. I no longer want to lie anymore. Not to anyone. Not to anything. Not even to myself. I want to live as myself, the person standing before you right now. 
I've never told anyone this before, but... I want you to hear what I need to say. Again, formatted bizarrely. Yeah, of course. But saying you like that, it's kind of weird. The Byaki I know always says you in a condescending way, you know, right? What? Huh? <laughs> You're right. You're absolutely right. The Byakia you know, huh? For some reason, the expression on Byakia's face at that moment was different than any I'd ever seen before. I could finally feel a strong bond between Byakia and me. All I can do now is wait until Byakia is ready to tell me everything. Huh. And in order for that to happen, we need to get off the island soon. I completely lost track of time as I discussed our future course of action with Byakia. Strangely enough, we were making jokes with each other, too. Interesting. I wonder. I unlocked the skill Sting. Ah, yes. Sometimes when I get so enthralled with a character's story, I forget that that's a thing that keeps happening. My goodness. After I parted ways with Byakia, I decided to return to my cottage. Do you think that maybe doing that... Um, I wonder. I have to wonder if Love Love actions would actually lead to specifically a romantic relationship. Because, I mean, with Peko, she's obviously into Fuyu, and I don't think they would change that. Interesting. I wonder. And if that's the case, then I wonder... Could you get more than one and not have it be bad? Interesting. Ah, that's something to debate I and, and, and think about, I wonder. Anyway. Take care of that. Woo, boy, everybody is such a pigsty. Today's the day, huh? Better review everything. Eight Usami straps, and I happen to have just that many right here. Yay! Not bad, me. Okay, you did very well. Here are some tickets. Thank you for the tickets. The next goal is... Jabberwock Bling? Okay. Soda! Feeling it up! You could say he is carbonated as all hell! Interesting, interesting. Oh, and a Jabba Hot Pot! That's incredibly useful! Thank you! Like, legitimately, no joke. That's. I don't need it right now, but that is a handy thing to have. Alright, is it possible for me to make myself some. Like, I make exactly one Jabba Juice. Just the one. Okay, so. I need... Alright, specifically, what would be the most useful? I wonder. Okay. Nature materials. So I need some Jabber Merlades. I'm just wondering if I should focus on maybe trying to build these things instead of trying to get more trip tickets. I mean, I already have enough as is. At least for what I'm specifically trying to go for. And the safety charm, obviously. So, I need tree vines and I need knives. That's what I desperately need. Alright, well then, Teru Teru, you, and Mikan, and Ibuki shall nap. Alright, that being said, so was I wrong? Okay, well that is where you get glue. But I guess knives, yeah, knives are specifically from here. Alright, then yeah, 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 yeah. You guys, the ones with the most energy go to the military base. Especially you, Soda, especially you. Yeah, the cleaners will continue to, uh, clean on. And just to be on the safe side, yeah, we need, we need some people to, to run around and try and get some tree vines. Yeah. Also, magical powder can be found there, too. And if anybody can find it, I'm willing to bet it would be Gundam. So, yeah, that should work out just fine. Let's go! Then again, hang on, back it up, back it up. Can I make a broom robo? I most certainly can. Yeah. Let's just do that real quick, because I realized I I, I definitely do not have enough. <laughs> so we'll just, uh... There we go. That will buy me the time on eight. All right. And it's not like I don't need tree vines or fuel and knives anyway for the items. So, yeah. It's not like I'm even completely diverging from the, the path I need to accomplish the overarching goal. So all in all, it all works out. There we go. Collect the things, my friends. All right. Hey, he even got even more uh, cleaning skill. Not bad. There we go. Six knives, three tree vines. Not bad. Any magical powder? Nay. None of that stuff. Bummer. Bummer. All right. Well, let's go meet with somebody. Who should I talk to? 
I think we already know. I gotta get Akane up to the top of that list. That's just, uh, no, 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 no other debates. I got 24 of these dang things. All right. You know, let's head to a movie theater. See what happens. Color me all types of curious to see. Okay, so let's find out. We arrived at the movie theater. It appears that several old movies are being screened at this old cinema complex. Looks like there's no one else here except for us. I feel like having a hot dog, it's all about the popcorn. Well, I, okay, well, I don't even need to think about this one. She, she definitely would prefer the meat stuffs. Yeah, there we go. This place has hot dogs and I can eat them? It'd be kind of weird if they sold them and didn't let you eat them. I never knew places like this had hot dogs. Man, movie theaters are awesome. Yahoo! All right, I'm gonna live here now. I can eat as much as this pre-made food as I want. I don't think it quite works like that, but you know what? I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna step on your dreams. Go for it. Looks like she had a really good time. Hot damn, I'm feeling pretty good about that. Go me. Thanks. It makes me happy when she's happy. And I mean that. <laughs> I am. I have definitely developed a crush. <laughs> anyway, anyone, it's night time. Please get plenty of rest. Yes, yes. Let's just uh, go ahead and do that. It's hard to deny it. My God. Anyway, man, the way I keep doing this, I keep landing on these holidays. Today is your day off, so get the hell out of my face. All right, then. Well, spend time with somebody, I dare say, I dare say. Do, 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 that means double the Akane. And you know what? Double Akane is a good thing. All right. I'm just, man, I just, uh, I actually, you know what? I kind of lucked out with the way that that library, is that just what happens at the library every time or? Really? So what, just going to the library? Is it the same thing as before? If so, I already know the right answer, and I don't want to give... I don't want to get a, a middling or negative answer, so... Is it the same thing? Impossible. Uh, yep, why am I, yep, it's the exact same thing. So what, did, going to the library, like... What, does it... it do, does it bo bore Akane to the point where she starts getting introspective or something? Is that what I am meant to interpret that as? I honestly don't know. Okay, well now I'm curious. I'm gonna do it one more time. I want to find out. I mean, if we don't, you don't eat, you die. I don't like skipping our dialogue, but we did read it already. And if it's just going to be the same stuff, then well, then yeah, no, no, no real sense in doing that. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna come back here with her one more time, and if the exact same thing happens again, then we know for a fact. I, 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 I'm doing some, some scientific experimentation here with all this. I will figure out the answers. What would I like to do? Use the trip tickets. Obviously. Once again, to the librarium. All right. So, does this happen literally every single time? No. Okay. So, that was just a weird coincidence inside the huge building. Well, then again, I did make the mistake of bringing her to a library then because I don't know if she's going to like any of this stuff. Oh, boy. Um... All right, well, there are books as far as the eye can see, lining the shelves. Looks like there's no one else here. This is a great place to study. Not much to do here. This is a great place to kill time. Interesting. Yeah, study is definitely not a thing that she would be anywhere close to interested in. That just implies that I'm wanting to try to get her to read more, which I feel like is kind of an insult to her intelligence. I guess I just got to go. I, I don't think any of these are exactly a good answer. What? Did you just realize that? I knew that before we even came here. There's nothing to do here. Um, How lazy do you have to be to stay inside reading books when it's so sunny outside? That's definitely uh, something a lot of people would disagree with. But I appreciate and respect your lifestyle. Yo. Hey, hey, let's hurry up and go outside already. We can work out our bodies and get a good sweat going. Phrasing. That's definitely more Kanye style. Oh, so that counts as a really good time? <laughs> Just going, man, books sure are boring. Let's get out of here. That's kind of hilarious if I'm being entirely honest with you. Anyway, there you go. Yay! I'm feeling pretty good about all that. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bow, bada bing. Everybody take a nap. Everybody take a nap. Oh, so wait, on holidays, the, the cleanliness level doesn't go down? 
That's peculiar. All right, now. I need more rope. There we go. Now I can make that safety charm. Boom. Hot diggity damn. That's not bad at all. Okay, but uh, can I make another iron plate? You know I can. Hell yeah. Okay, so... Then I just need some Jabba Malal. Maraled, as it were. I also need beast bones. I need... Uh, don't need that. I need bags. Seashells and magical powder. Can I make some bags? I can make some bags. Let's make some bags! Not enough bags, though, I don't think. Yeah. Oh, no, that was just enough bags. Hell yeah. All right, so seashells and magical powder. And then I can get more minerals. Not bad. Also, oh, wow, that's actually a lot of stuff. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to... It's a good thing I've got as many of these tickets as I do. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that, realistically speaking. Interesting. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Tell you what. Tell you what. I'm going to go one more day. Let's see. Does anybody need sleep? No, nobody needs sleep. That's good. That's good. And that gets us seashells, and we've got people searching for, like... Stuff that might get you some magical powders and stuff. Nekumaru is, and Nagito are just really good at cleaning now. <laughs> Alright, so... I don't really see much of a reason to switch things up. Then again, hang on. Uh, you don't need to sleep so much, Nomo. Actually, hang on. Hang on a second. Uh, where exactly can I get... Jabba Malad? Yeah, there we go. Okay, we're sending... We're sending Taro Taro to the mountains, and you know what? Let's go with him. No sense leaving him completely in the lurch. And you guys are good, so you know what? No, you guys also come with, just for the sake of keeping me company. <laughs> Tao Tao is going to get weird, but he'll get weird with all of us, so it's an equal opportunity type situation. All right, let's go, go, go. Yay! Ba 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 da bow! Ja ba ba da ba bow! Ba 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 ja ja bow! This song, though, man. Now that I'm in a situation where there's less, you know, horrors going on, I can actually kind of appreciate how f kind of funky it is. All right, so, hey, more level ups. Sweet, they're getting real good at that scavenging. Okay, so I got myself some Jabba Malals. Not a ton, but, uh, any beast bones maybe? No. Uh, I got some seashells, some seaweed, some water. <laughs> Not a whole lot of what exactly what I was looking for. Oh, well, all right. Now, I should be pretty darn close to uh, having Akane be at the top of the hill at this point, right? Surely. Do, 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 do. All right, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a half. All right, so then that would be about at least, I don't know. So that's, that, 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 I guess that would be at least four more because of that half. Assuming I, 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 do, I do perfects and whatnot. All right, well, let's get that to eight and a half at least. Then we can move on and uh, get some more of them there, hope fragments. I just feel pretty cool with, uh, you know, filling up two of the, 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 of characters, hope fragments and stuff per, per, uh, whatchamacalls, it's per, 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 per recording sessions. Let's go back to the movie theater. Movie theaters are just good date locations in general. Anyway, doo -doo -doo -doo. what else? Let's see. Oh, hello. Yep, 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 yep. They were in a different section. Same as always. Same as always. Not bad. Girl likes herself some food. You know, I don't eat that much a day, but when I do eat food, I do spend a lot of time enjoying said food. Thanks. Anyway, once again, she's feeling pretty good and pretty swell, and that makes me happy. All right. So I dare say that's pretty good for now. That's two more characters completely done and dusted, and a whole lot more dates with Akane. Which is just always a good idea in general. Let's be real with ourselves. Rejoice. Apparently, Byakuya has decided to get the fire in his eyes. So that's pretty great. Oh, and a medicine of hope. That should send somebody else into super overdrive. Oh, wow. Okay, well, hang on. Let me use that right ahead of the time in case I decide to forget. Just to be on the safe side. Who should I super duper ultra charge? Obviously Akane. Always. Probably should have given that to somebody who uh, needed to rest. That wasn't probably the best option. Uh, eh, what are you gonna do? Anyway, we lose less health now. That's really awesome. Actually, hang on. Can I maybe... 
All right. Uh. Uh, hang on a second. Just one sec. Just one second. Let's make two of those. Two Jabba salads. Just to, uh, just to top them off. There we go. All right. Now he should be pretty good. There. Now everybody is, uh, you know, set and good for the day. Definitely, definitely, probably not going to be able to make this. <laughs> make more. Make some rope. Yeah, not, that's not, that's not going to work at all. And I need to make two of those? My god. All right. Well, that should be everything for now. That's uh, a big pile of stuff done. Let's take another quick look at our, our handy-dandy report cards just to properly look over this thing. There we go. Not bad at all. So we got Soda, Tarutaru, Sonia, Nekumaru, Hiyoko, Mahiru, Mikan, and Ibuki left. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll probably start up the next one with a character I super want to get involved with. And then we'll probably do Teru Teru, just because I know he's going to say gross stuff. And after that, I'm pretty cool. With, I'm generally cool with everybody else that's left. I'll think about who I want to save for last, though. I'll, I'll try to save the one that I most want to do for last. That seems like the best course of action. All right, then. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these silly little uh, bonus videos as they've been coming out. And I will see you all next time. Catch you later.